Hi, I'm Shannon Albert from WDWPrepSchool.com, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how the Magical Express bus service works at Disney World. Stay tuned. So if you have never taken Magical Express at Disney World, it might seem a little confusing, and I think it is if you don't know what to expect. But today I'm gonna to walk you through the steps so that you know going and coming home, how it works. Before we do that, I do wanna give you a quick overview in case you are unfamiliar with the service. Magical Express is a free bus service for people staying in Disney World Resort hotels, and it takes you from Orlando International Airport, no other airports, just Orlando International Airport, to Disney World Hotels. Hotels. It doesn't take you to any of the other Disney hotels like the Four Seasons. It doesn't take you to Swan and Dolphin. It's only Disney's own hotels where this is an option. They will optionally transport your luggage for you, but we'll get into more of that in just a minute. So let's start going through the steps. Step one is that you need to sign up to use the service and you can do this while you're at home. You can do it while you're booking your trip. So if you go online to make a reservation, you can put your Magical Express information in then, but you can also add it later so if you already have a reservation, go to DisneyMagicalExpress.com and they will ask you for your hotel information, your flight information, all of that. And then you will be locked in for a reservation to use Magical Express. They will mail you one luggage tag per person and you can use that if you would like, but we'll get more into that in the next step. This reservation that you make online ahead of time, or you can call if you would like, should ideally be made at least 10 days in advance to give you enough time, but you can make the reservation at any time. So step one is just to make that reservation. Step two is, as I mentioned, to receive the luggage tags and voucher information in the mail. You will get one luggage tag per person. You can request more if you would like. You should affix these to your luggage if you plan on Disney transporting your luggage for you. If you want to manage your own bags, you absolutely can just leave those luggage tags off. But if you want them to, it will be a nice bright indicator to their luggage team to pick your luggage off of the baggage carousel. If you happen to forget these luggage tags, just make sure you have your baggage claim tickets and you can take those to the Magical Express desk and they will go find your bags and get them anyway. But ideally you should have these bright luggage tags that Disney sends you on your bags if you want them to transport them. If you're arriving after 10 p.m., you will need to transport your own bags anyway, so you can just leave the tags off if you would like. You will have to pick those up off the baggage carousel yourself, and I'll explain how to do that in just a minute. Step three, once your bags are tagged and you are ready to go, you need to fly to Orlando International Airport. Now, if you've never been there, it's a slightly different setup than you may have seen at any other airport. When you land, you arrive at a a satellite terminal and from those terminals there is a tram that takes you to the main terminal so everyone has to do that you get off your plane you walk to the tram the tram takes you to the center building at this center building you will enter on level three level three is where everyone comes in and it has like the ticket counters and that kind of stuff but from here you need to realize Am I on side A of this building or side B? This is important because Magical Express is on side B and you may or may not be there. So you need to realize where you are at this point. If you are needing to get your own bags, then that is the next step on the list. For step four, I need you to, if you're picking your own bags up, to navigate to level two of this building to the baggage claim to get your bags. You will do that whether you're on A or B. Go down to level two on A or B, get your bags, and then for the next step, we will navigate to the Magical Express desk. For step five, you need to make your way to that Magical Express desk, but the confusing part of this is that it is on side B level one. So if you, for instance, are on side A when you arrive and you go get your bags, you're going to enter on level three, go down to A2 to get your luggage, and then to get to B1, you have to go back up to three where you came in, go over to side B and down to one. You get this? I'm making like an A shape here. So I wanted to walk through this so that you don't get lost in the airport because it can be a little bit confusing, but ultimately, 
Level two is baggage claim, and then level one on the B side is where your Magical Express desk is, and you have to find it all the way on the end. There will be signs as you get closer and closer to the desk that keep you going in the right direction, so just look for those. Step six is, once you get to the Magical Express desk, you need to check in. If you have your magic bands handy, that is actually the easiest way. You can scan them. This could be your first chance during your trip to use your magic bands, and they should be able to pull up your reservation. If you don't have your magic bands handy, they will be able to look up your information here as well. After you're checked in, you will be pointed to one of several lines to wait for your bus. These lines will be grouped by resort. And here you will wait for your name to be called or your lane to be called to get on the bus. Step seven is board the bus. You will likely wait for a little while inside and then they will call you to board where you will wait a little while for the bus to fill up. So do plan on a little bit of waiting time both inside and on the bus before you get to leave the airport, but you will board the bus here. If you have your own luggage with you because you picked it up at the baggage claim, you will be able to put it on the bus here. They will store it underneath for the ride to Disney World. Step number eight is that then you are headed to Disney World once they decide that the bus is full enough to leave. This drive will take about 25 to 35 minutes or so, but there will be multiple stops. So if you are not the first resort, you're gonna have to wait for the other resorts to unload. At this point, if you did have your own luggage on the bus, they will take it out of the storage underneath and you can take it from there. I would suggest tipping about a dollar per bag if you did give them your luggage to handle. That is pretty typical for anyone who handles your luggage is to tip about a dollar per bag and Magical Express. Cast members are allowed to accept tips. If you did not bring your luggage on the bus and instead you tagged your bags and allowed Disney to handle it, those bags will be delivered right to your room within about four hours. So the downside of having Disney transport your luggage is that there is a bit of a wait. The upside is that you don't have to mess with it. So be sure that anything you need for the first few hours is in a backpack or your carry-on so that you have all the essentials, but your bag should arrive to your room within four hours. You do not need to tip these cast members because they will often just deliver it to your room and you won't interact with them at all. So that is all the steps to get to Disney World. Now we need to talk about what to do on your way home. So the first thing that will happen on your trip home is that the day before you leave, you will get a letter on your hotel door that tells you your Magical Express information. It'll tell you what time to board. Usually it's three hours before your flight and you'll be given vouchers so that you can board the bus. This boarding time that they give you, it is a set time. Don't be late for it because you may or may not be able to get on a later bus. So be sure to be on time on your departure day. The next step on your departure day is that you can use resort airline check-in if you want them to handle your bags. Resort airline check-in isn't just for people taking Magical Express. Anyone who's flying on a participating airline can use it. I'll have a link in the description with more information on this. It's something I use every trip and I don't use Magical Express every trip. But if you are taking Magical Express, feel free to use this service. It's like a satellite airport desk where they can check your bag, get your boarding passes, all of that right at your hotel so you don't have to mess with it. You would want to keep anything with you that you don't want to be checked, like a carry-on bag or anything you need before your departure day. You can leave your bags with Bell Services as well. So often what I will do is check the big bags that I want to be checked bags on the plane. And then if I have like laptop in my backpack or heavy things in my carry-on, I'll leave that with Bell Services. And then I'll go have lunch or go to a park or whatever. And then um, I'll come back and get the the carry-on items from Bell Services before heading to the airport. But make sure your luggage is sorted on your departure day. And step three is to get on the bus at your boarding time. Don't be late, be there on time. You will need your vouchers that you were given. Magic bands don't work on the trip home, which is a little strange, I know, but um, you will need your vouchers to get on the bus. And you, again, can have them transport your luggage if you need to and tipping does apply. So that kind of sums up the steps going and coming on Magical Express. So you, you know, why wouldn't anybody use it? Well, as I explained, it does take extra time. And um, so some people that want to get to Disney World or to the airport in the least amount of time possible will probably want to use other options. 
I have information um, in many, many articles about all of the airport transport options, about how resort airline check-in works, and about Magical Express. So be sure to check those in the description. Thanks for watching. Thank you.